drive is not just driving a car. Drive is having that ambition, having that go get them attitude. And if you don't know something, don't let that stop you. Go learn how to do it and get it done. That is what Dares Drives is all about. Here we are now at the end of the week and it's the start of the video, which is kind of funny. We are off to episode number 33 and I'm freaking over my head. <laughs> my brain. Look at, there's Winnie. So with this episode, we had a plan to get something done and that was to shelter in our van so that we're ready for winter. But you guys, all the research we've had to put in this week, this week really got away on us. But as we always do, let's start this the way Dares Drives always starts. You ready? Let's go. And this here is where the story started this week. I am standing here with absolutely zero clothes on, but I want to start it off by saying, Good morning world and how are you today? Wow, look at it out here. It's Sunday. The sun is shining There's not a single breeze like when do we ever get to do recording and not have to deal with wind like that's almost unheard of <laughs> We're gonna take advantage of this So I'm sitting in my spot that I've been sitting in for the past couple weeks staring at the back of this van Trying to figure out what the heck we're gonna do to seal this thing in I've gone to all the camping stores to look at these retractable frickin' posts and I'm trying to find something big enough. The longest I can find just off the shelf are like eight footers. And honestly, if I put a, a tarp in that wide, those things are not gonna hold up. So we have a van that's just shy of six feet, that's just over nine feet, and we have a length of 22 feet, just shy of 22 feet. So when I look at these, carports at Canadian Tire and Home Depot and all these places to fit it into our carport I've been looking at these 12 by 24 by 10 foots but the downside to these is that that doesn't leave a lot of room to work on the vent especially on the outside like put this 10 foot high one if you look at it it's actually nine foot at the door so I actually have to build this thing around <laughs> the van, I have to park the van and build it around. I could let all the air out of the tires. That's gonna give me, you know, six inches or so to the top. It has to be parked dead center because it's on an arch. So it's not like you can park it off to one side to work on one side, it has to be dead center. It only leaves you like two and a half, three feet on either side of the van. Which isn't a lot of room when you think if you're gonna be trying to cut windows into the side of a van, that's not a lot of room. So I'm really torn. This decision is not as easy as we initially thought. And I asked for feedback in my last video, but unfortunately, we just don't get the views. And I don't know, maybe that means my, my movies suck. But I'm at a loss. It's not like I can just go and put posts into the ground and make a 15 foot high structure. I live in the city. There's regulations against that kind of stuff. <laughs> what did I do here? What am I gonna do here? Oh my goodness. And I do not want to mount anything to the roof of my garage. I'm at a loss. I wish I knew what to say. I really, really wish I knew what to say. This is what happens when Mr. Dares gets a challenge, things start getting a little crazy. I now have a garage company coming in to talk to me about this door, because as you see, I already put a high rail system for that door because of the lift. So what I'm thinking, is that if I can cut that door one panel larger, I'd be able to put the van right in here. That means we'd have the van right there, and the work area right here, and that would be like the ultimate work area for building a van. I don't know if it's possible to be continued. I feel like maybe we can get a little lucky. I don't play this stuff very often, but I figure today we're gonna give her a shot. Maybe we can afford to have somebody build this van for us. That doesn't work very good. Let's try this one. This thing sucks. And this is a true sign of what our life is. We have to work for everything. <laughs> Nothing ever comes for free. So let's carry on. So guess what? I have to turn you on real quick because this just showed up. Hey bud. I think you got a few big boxes for me today, right? Yes sir. 
How many how many boxes are there? Because what I'm gonna ask you, do you think you can meet me at my garage? And I'll open up the big back door. Oh. Awesome, thanks, bud. Oh, this is for next week's video. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a nice garage, man. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. All right, how are you doing? Awesome, thank you, sir. And there they are. Yeah, yeah. All right, bro, so have a good weekend. Week, yeah? yeah, yeah, I do have vlogs called Dare's Drives. So this that you just saw show up, this is our first, our first real pieces to our van build that we're talking about. And it's going in next weekend. Make sure you hit that subscribe, and you can follow along and see what it's all about. just starts going flipping crazy. It's time to get us a microphone. Wait till you see what happens next week again. So much happening next week. Gonna need that subscribe button, peeps. Gonna need it. Yeah, yeah. I know you can't hear me. Ooh. <sighs> I just finished a full day with some big bosses that came into town, but we have a positive side. Timing is everything because I don't even know if I should really say anything publicly right now. Um, so there's no way, there's no way I'm passing something like that up. We're gonna go for it, my friends, and we're gonna make it as good as what we make everything else. Because well, at Dare's Drives, that's just what we do. And the whole rest of our week was spent right here in our office. There's Winnie, watching these kind of things, trying to learn about solar, about batteries, about all the electrical that goes in between that, plumbing, heating, you name it. And look how exciting some of these videos are that we got to watch. Size battery we need with a certain amount of days of autonomy. By those two metrics, the volts times the amps, you will have 10 watts. We're going to learn what size wire to use and what size fuse and how to calculate that in a very fast, easy way. Which is 600, you have your volts, which is 70, but you don't have your amps because we know that wiring them in the series doubles the volt. It started to burn the internal coil. The conclusion from this test is that charging lithium batteries at low RPM results in the alternator overheating. 35 volts and 17.2 amps. Whew, my brain is frying. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys I think you get the point don't you so either way I think I figured it out I used our old credit card there on Amazon and I stretched the heck out of it purchasing what we needed but it just doesn't feel the same when it's online you don't get to see it right away so there's a bunch of tools we needed so we went and did some retail therapy and that's what this looked like and our freaking battery goes dead on us as usual because, well, that's just what it does all the time. Now we got our grinding and we definitely need to find a good set of wire strippers. Probably gonna need a few clamps. And we have a four pack of big clamps. Then, of course, we can't forget we are gonna need some files. Back is definitely gonna be needed. Take the drill press. There's our last tool. What do you think? Think that's a full enough cart? Let's get out of here. <laughs> there it is. Start the car. I call that a win. And as usual, we'll see you next Sunday. Whip it! Whip it! Yeah, whip it good!